All right, you guys, so we're going to get straight into things. You are going to need some project poster board. You can get this from Dollar Tree. I originally started off with four because I wanted to have a huge floral backdrop, but I realized that's going to take a lot of flowers and a lot of money. So I decided to just buy $50 worth of flowers and start off with one board and just add on as I go. So I bought loads and loads and loads of yellow, off-white, and orange flowers along with some glue sticks. Now we're just going to start off by plucking all of the flowers off of the stems you want to take your time while doing this i'm always in a rush you guys i don't know why i'm so impatient so <laughs> i ended up messing up a flu a, mm, <laughs> a few <laughs> flowers so just take your time so that you don't rip the whole flower apart like you see me doing right here and you know you'll eventually get through it this project did take me two hours but y'all it's worth it so once you have your flowers all sorted out and you can see the vision, it's time to get down to business. So I'm starting off by poking a hole just with a pen into the poster board, adding some glue to the back of my flower, and then just sticking the flower right over top of that hole. Now the purpose of the hole is because the flowers still have the little stem hanging off from it in the back, and it's not going to lay flat on the poster board if you don't have the hole for the stem to fit into. So this is super easy, you guys. It's literally just a matter of sticking a hole, gluing the flower down, and moving on to the next. I'm not grabbing the flowers in any particular order. I just have them off to the side in a pile, and I'm literally just grabbing whatever flower I grab. Um, I didn't want to have it like super organized. I just wanted it to be nice and random because I feel like it looks really good when it's just random. <laughs> and it definitely did work out. Now, as you see, you guys, I have some pre-plucked holes. Don't pre-pluck your holes. Like, don't. <laughs> it doesn't, like, you don't know where you're going to end up placing a flower. So just don't. I told you all, I'm just impatient. I'm always in a rush. Don't know why. Whatever. Um, so anyways, you guys, $50 worth of flowers did allow me to fill up two whole poster boards and like a quarter of another one. Um, so in about a minute or so you'll be able to see me add on the second board and then you'll be able to see how I cut the one fourth of the other poster board. So here is one board completed. It's not big enough for what I am trying to use it for, uh, which is for photo shoot purposes, but you know. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and add um, a, another poster board to it. And as you see, I'm just going down the side of the poster board um, as much as I can before the glue dries and just sticking the other poster board on top and then I'm just finishing the rest of the way um, by bending it in the back and then just you know you'll see you see what I'm doing this is hard to explain <laughs> So this is two boards completed together, but it still just wasn't quite wide enough for me. Um, and I didn't have that many flowers left. So I decided to, you know, cut uh, down some of the third poster board that I had. And I just added some flowers like over top of that without plucking them just to see like if I could really fit all of those flowers up there. Um, and I was able to, so I just went ahead and used, you know, that part or that section. It's probably literally like a third of the poster board. And so, yeah, I literally just glued those two pieces together the same way you just see me glue the first two poster boards together. And then I glued that whole one piece to the two poster boards. Now, this is honestly a little bit flimsy, you guys, but you can always add some wood behind it and you'll be good to go. So I just covered that section with the leftover flowers I had. I did go back in with some extra white flowers because, y'all, that was just a little bit too orange and yellow down that part. But, <laughs> yeah. 
So I wanted you guys to be able to see what this looked like completed and in action. So I did a little photo shoot for my dog. I used different settings on my camera so you could see what it looked like in different settings. None of these are edited and yeah, it's super dope. So that is it for today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.